good afternoon. Uh, I will continue this section with organic pollutants. Particularly, I will present results of uh, trichloropenzene degradation in different water matrices using UV photolysis alone and UV combined with the hydrogen peroxide advanced oxidation process. Uh, firstly, I would like to say a few words about uh, chemical pollution of water. Today, there is a growing interest uh, about the occurrence of different uh, organic micropollutants in different water bodies. And it is uh, also well known that uh, organic pollution of water can cause uh, a different negative effects on aquatic organisms, on uh, human health consequently and generally to the environment. Um, uh, to, de to deal with this problem, European Union uh, with the Water Framework Directive defined priority substances which can pose uh, a risk uh, to aquatic ecosystems and additionally directive from 2008 list of 33 priority substances or group of substances with uh, particular uh, environmental quality standards and the recently updated directive in 2030 um, uh, include 45 uh, substances or group of substances with, uh, with uh, environmental quality standards and also it is very important to note that this directive stimulates uh, the use and develop, uh, development of innovative, more cost-effective and more effective technology to uh, deal with these problems. So this directive, um, as uh, can be seen, includes different pollutants, organic and inorganic, including pesticides, solvents, PCBs and so on. But uh, for this investigation, we choose chlorinated benzenes, um, especially trichlorobenzene. Uh, these substances um, include uh, three isomeric forms and uh, it is important to note that uh, they can be detected uh, in different water bodies as a consequence of degradation of organochlorine compounds. Uh, and uh, uh, to deal with this problem, uh, today it is well known that uh, conventional water and waste water treatment is not uh, suitable enough to remove these pollutants. So there is a growing interest about using different uh, advanced oxidation techniques uh, including ozone, hydrogen peroxide, UV, uh, different catalysts including titanium dioxide, phantom process uh, and many others. Uh, all this process uh, uh, include the generation of highly reactive, non-selective and powerful oxidants such as hydroxyl radicals. So this group of te techniques uh, are considered to be uh, environmental friendly and in some cases cost effective solutions for organic pollutants removal. Uh, and taking into account all mentioned, um, the main goal of this study was to investigate uh, and to compare the effects of UV photolysis alone and UV uh, combined with uh, hydrogen peroxide oxidation to remove trichlorobenzene in different water matrices. The influence of uh, different uh, water ma matrices means uh, to investigate the influence of the presence of humic substances, carbonate ions, and to compare it with uh, the efficacy of these processes in uh, natural water uh, from Vojvodina region. Uh, on slide you can see a conventional reactor which we use for these uh, degradation experiments. Um, it was stainless steel reactor uh, equipped with quartz vessel with UV lamp, uh, low pressure mercury lamp uh, and uh, we applied the uh, low hydrogen peroxide dose of about 1 mg per liter UV fluence from one, 100 to 6000 mJ per, per square centimeters. Uh, uh, the concentration of TCB was about 
100 uh, micrograms per liter. Uh, TCB uh, was analyzed using uh, gas chromatography <coughs> with uh, electron capture detection. Uh, humic matter and carbonates uh, are spiked into synthetic water matrix and we choose this concentration just to uh, be similar with those uh, which could be detected in natural, natural ground water bodies in Mojvodina uh, region. Uh, results uh, of degradation of trichlorobenzene in, in synthetic water are presented in these two figures and, and as can be seen using uh, photolysis alone, uh, maximal degradation of trichlorobenzene was up to 40%. Uh, in contrast, uh, using uh, UV combined with hydrogen peroxide, uh, we achieve uh, almost complete degradation of trichlorobenzene in synthetic water matrix using uh, about uh, five times lower UV fluence compared to maximal efficacy of advanced oxidation process. Under these uh, optimal reaction conditions, we can uh, see that uh, in the presence of uh, carbonate or combination of uh, humic acids and carbonate, this efficacy significantly dropped to uh, below 50% and even more in the presence of uh, humic acid. Uh, for maximal degradation efficacy of about 60, uh, of about uh, 80 percent, uh, it was necessary to apply higher UV fluence. So, um, as we, uh, we, con we can conclude that uh, uh, in this uh, synthetic water matrix uh, with carbonate ions addition and humic acid, maybe some carbonate ions could be formed which uh, uh, significantly, uh, significantly uh, uh, have negative effect on TCB degradation. Also, humic acid uh, could act uh, as scavenger of hydroxyl radicals, uh, which also uh, have a negative effect for TCB degradation. Uh, the second uh, part of the experiment was to investigate degradation of trichlorobenzene uh, in natural water. Uh, this water has uh, um, a high content of natural organic matter, uh, which can be seen from uh, according to TOC values, and uh, natural organic uh, matter fraction, fractionation results show that uh, in this type of water, phthalic acid fraction was dominant and counts about 45%, while humic acid fraction was not detected. Was not detected. We, we can conclude that these two types of water, synthetic and natural water, uh, significantly differ uh, in terms of uh, humic and phthalic acid fraction presence. And the results present uh, on this uh, figure shows a very small difference between UV photolysis alone and UV combined with <coughs> hydrogen peroxide. Uh, these results could be explained by the presence and influence of phthalic acid fraction and the other hydrophilic natural organic matter carbonate and so on, uh, which can uh, act as scavengers and uh, significantly uh, low the process uh, efficacy. Uh, and further investigation, which are not presented on this slide, shows that uh, you know, it was necessary to apply uh, a higher hydrogen peroxide dose of uh, up to 10 mg per liter to achieve uh, a complete degradation of trichlorobenzene in such type of water. Uh, to better understand the trichlorobenzene degradation, uh, we use uh, obtain results to um, investigate the degradation kinetics and using uh, presented equations we uh, determined uh, time based to the first order rate constants and results uh, are presented on this table and uh, as uh, 
Uh, it can be seen in ultra pure water. We found the highest uh, rate constant in the presence of carbonate, uh, humic acids, their combination, and particularly uh, in natural water matrix, um, lower constants was observed, uh, indicating the influence of all uh, present interfering substances on process efficacy. Uh, com uh, by uh, comparing uh, obtained results uh, in UV combined with hydrogen peroxide process and UV photolysis alone, uh, it can be seen that in ultra pure water, without any addition of interfering pollutants, rate constant was about 45 times higher compared to the UV photolysis alone, uh, indicating the role of hydroxyl radicals in target pollutants oxidation. While in the case of natural water matrix, uh, these constant constants uh, were very close, which also indicate the role of different uh, 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 constituents of water matrix on advanced oxidation process. And just to conclude and summarize, uh, given the results uh, uh, shows that uh, low pressure UV combined with hydrogen peroxide could be a promising technique for the removal of trichlorobenzene as a priority pollutant uh, in uh, different water types. However, in the presence of uh, natural organic matter such as humic substances, phallic substances, the, they can reduce degradation efficacy and in that case we have to apply higher hydrogen peroxide dose and UV fluence to achieve a maximum, de maximum degradation, uh, uh, particularly complete removal or, of trichlorobenzene. In, uh, and in our study, the uh, phallic acid fraction uh, has a higher negative effect on TCB degradation than humic acid fraction. And all uh, results were supported by degradation uh, kinetics and results were presented. Thank you for your attention.